Y'all, I was filming and my phone decided to, to reboot, so I'm going to have to start all over again, but my ingredients are mixed. I am making a charcoal face mask, which includes a half a teaspoon of activated charcoal. I just grind it up in the grinder. Do be careful, though. Activated charcoal is a very extremely messy. Um, it also, what it's good for in, in this recipe is that it oxidizes your skin and it will pull out the impurities. So a half a teaspoon of activated charcoal, a half a teaspoon of bentonite clay, which again um, detoxifies, exfoliates, it's very good for your skin. A quarter teaspoon of coconut oil, because coconut oil obviously kills bacteria, does have the antiviral, antifungal properties in it and one teaspoon of water and that is what is in here do not stir it with anything metal because the activated charcoal will start pulling the metal properties out of the whatever you're stirring it with it's just gonna stir it up and it's not gonna hurt if you want it a little thinner than this it's not gonna hurt you can add some more co coconut oil to it if you like so all you're gonna do is simply Smear this on your face, let it dry, and then wash it off with a wet washcloth. And it makes your face feel like a baby's bottom. It's just so wonderful. This is how I get my bentonite clay. This is what it comes in, right here. Activated charcoal. I'll show you what it looks like for those who don't have any. And we'll just stick it on the lid here. I get it where it comes like this. It's in like grains of sugar, sand. And again, just grind it up. Unless you want the roughness for your skin, but personally, I like grinding mine up. And then your coconut oil and water. That's about all there is to it. Slather it on. Let it dry. It is going to be messy when you take it off. Put a thin coat on. But, you know, because if not, you're going to be scrubbing on your face forever. Keep it out of your eyes. Um, I'll try to take a picture as soon as I get it on here to show you. But the reward is your skin does feel really, really good after doing this. So I will be back and show you what this thing looks like. Yes, I'm not afraid of that on YouTube. Be back. Okay, guys, and here it is. It's going to take some time to dry according to the humidity and the temperature. Our temperature has went down from the 90s the last few days to the 70s today. Thank you, Lord. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but like I said, it is going to be messy. So just when it's dry, take it off with a wet washcloth. My face already feels um, very cool. It's strange. It feels so good. And I know you can go and and buy these things from dollar stores and places like that you know but you're getting a lot of chemicals and I don't know I just prefer I guess uh, the natural way so yes I'm bearing this face on YouTube <laughs> y'all have a wonderful day hope you give it a shot God bless you